Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a different kind of video. I'm talking about the health, fitness and social media apps that I am totally obsessed with and I think you might be obsessed with too after I talk about them. I don't know how many I've got, I think I've got six. This is like the only video I can literally have my phone with me and it doesn't feel bad. I don't feel like, oh my god, I need to hide it. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six apps I'm sharing with you today. I'm gonna go through them, tell you why they're awesome and why you should download them too. So the first app is how I basically deal with Instagram. I do it all through Planoli. And so Planoli is I have so many images that I want to share with you guys all the time because for every one image I post I have about 50 and <laughs> what I have to do is I go through my camera roll, I save the ones that I like and then once I've edited them, which I'll get up to in a little bit, um, I will put them into this app called Planoli and it's super brilliant so you just click in and you have a grid and you can upload your images to the grid and then just kind of slot them or shuffle them around how you want. So if you know that you've got five recipes or six workouts already filmed, you can just slot them in where you think looks best. And it particularly is really helpful, not so much for me because my theme is just like my life, but if you're um, a brand or somebody that's trying to create a certain look, it's really helpful because you know what things are gonna look like. Sometimes if I go on holiday, and I have like loads of really nice beach pictures, then I will do it then because I'll be like, oh, that like blue looks really nice against the sandy color of that. And it just, it's really satisfying for the inner like Instagram addict. Um, so Planoli is brilliant. And you can also upload them on your computer and then it will just like put a little notification in your um, kind of in Planoli mobile inbox that says you need to post this now. So it's super useful, you can kind of play around, you can draft them, you can add the captions, and it's just a really great way to stay on top of your Instagram game, if that's your thing. The next app is Headspace, so a very different kind of app. This is all about making meditation accessible. So for me, I'm not very good at being zen and mindful, and I'm desperately trying to be a little bit better. Headspace is an app that gives you a free 10 day trial and you have 10 days basically to get into meditation. It kind of notifies you each day that you need to do your two minutes and it builds you up slowly. I think it's really, really useful. And once you've done those 10 days, and I promise you it's way easier than you may think, it doesn't take time. And actually um, the, the founder who does the voiceovers is such a really brilliant guide for the meditation because he doesn't make you feel bad about your mind floating away. It's just, it's really nice and relaxed. And the reason you know it's done so well as well is my brother-in-law, um, he's a lawyer, like a city lawyer, he loves it. And he uses it, um, he was telling me, so they have in Headspace, the app, different things that you can meditate for. So stress, a job interview, they have lots of different random things like a celebration, they can be positive affirmations you're putting out there or trying to think back and nurture yourself. It's really useful and it's super accessible to anybody. So this is an app that I always have downloaded. I make sure it pushes me and reminds me to do it and I always feel better for it. So it's one that I would absolutely recommend you download. The next app is Class Plus, Class Pass, not Class Plus, but similar, Class Pass. ClassPass is basically a really great app that shows you wherever you are. So from my flat here, I can see all the different studios around my area that are also on this app and they give you a really brilliant deal. So it's like three um, classes for £35 and because these are boutique classes, normally they'd be like £25 each. So it's a really good deal um, and it gets better obviously the more classes you buy. And you can see what classes are available. You can book through the app and it's really nice because if I'm in like a random location on a shoot somewhere or working somewhere, I can see what's also on class pass and it just kind of gives me this like, kind of, you know, it's like the golden ticket to go into all these different studios and not have memberships to them, which is really, really nice. And it also has um, another section of the app, which has lots of free workout videos as well. So you can do like a bar class or a hit class or a strength and conditioning class on your mobile. So it's kind of like a lot of different things in one. I find it super useful if I'm out and about and it's also a great way for me because a lot of people book onto my classes through ClassPass. Oh my God, it's such a tongue twister. But yeah, it's a really great app if you're somebody that likes to be out and about and suddenly go, oh, I've got my workout kit with me, let's go. Or if you just want like an all-in-one place to book lots of different classes. 
The next app always makes me laugh to say it's called Wonderlist, but for some reason I always am like Wunderlist, like a German kind of like, I don't know, I don't know. Um, Wonderlist is my absolute go-to when it comes to to-do lists. You can sync it up with your computer, so it's an app I have on my MacBook too. And I can just like add lots of different things that I need to get done, lots of different categories. So I have home, I have ballet blast, so everything to do with ballet blast, naturally sassy, anything that I need to get done, I categorize it and then I have different power, like little bullet points and I can tick them off as I go. What's so useful is I have a little bit of a team that work with me expanding different areas of my business and I can add them to the to-do list so you can share it with other people and then they can tick it off too. And you just kind of know where you're at. And for me, I'm such a busy brain. Like right now I'm having like a problem filming YouTube videos because my brain is working a million miles an hour and I can't like talk and keep up with what I'm thinking. And that's how I literally run my business. It's just like too many ideas. And unless I put them down, I totally forget them. It's like in and out. So I have to put them down. I always do it in one list. It syncs up, it's on my computer too. It's just like an all in one magical to-do list, magician maker thing. It's brilliant. I don't know. It's really good though. So you should download it. If you, like me, procrastinate and don't get your to-do list done. The next one is Snapseed, and Snapseed is how I edit all my Instagram pictures, um, and it is just the best social media tool. So it's Google's like Photoshop for the iPhone. I think it's all on Android as well, so it's on all of those, but it's so useful. So you can do all sorts of really cool things. I use it a lot for food photography, um, and this means that I can kind of tap into a picture, find like some something green or like if it's a piece of carrot in the dish that isn't really standing out I can zoom into it and I can saturate that so I can bring out the color in that it's so useful because you don't want to transform your images because you want them to look the same but sometimes it's nice to be able to pick something out and be like no I want you to see this but the light didn't really capture it when I took the photo so you can go in saturate it make it a little bit brighter and um, you can also do some really interesting things with contrast and brightness and you can develop a really lovely look for the picture that you're going for for movement photos it can be quite useful just to sharpen it a little bit because obviously you might be jumping or moving and you need it just to be brought together a little bit more but it has so many very very cool features it's a really great way to edit them and make them look really professional I think and give them the same look as well because you can save the look and apply it to all the pictures so I do it on Snapseed then I export it and then I'll put it in Planoli which is the other app that I told you about but Snapseed is my absolute go-to I don't think I can live with it at this point it's become like part of my regular Instagram routine. I sound like such a plonker. Insta like my Instagram routine. Um, but it is really useful. So have a little look. And the last one is the iMovie app on the iPhone. And I love this one. I do a lot of videos for Ballet Blast and cooking videos as well that I put on my Instagram again. <laughs> All apps I have are for that. Um, including Instagram. That's also a favourite app. But I'm not going to add that to this list. Um, but iMovie is really great. It allows you to kind of upload the, the videos, cut them where you want them, have really cool phase between, so you can have like cool looks that fuse you into the next clip. Um, the music, you can upload it. You can basically edit it all like the iMovie app on the laptop, but it's really nice to be have, such, like, have such a great kind of well-designed app for videos that you take on your phone. And also it can take it into a square as well, which is really useful. So I export them, they're already in a square. It's magical. Um, so I use the app a lot too. So those are my favorite apps that I use all the time on my iPhone. I know there's a place on your settings that you can see how many hours you spend a week in each app. And I honestly would be terrified to do that with all of those apps, except Headspace, which actually if I spent time there, I would be really, really proud of. Um, but they're great apps. I think they're really well designed, really useful. So let me know what you think in the comments below if you use them already, or if you have some better recommendations for me, I would be really intrigued to know. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm gonna just sit here now and play with my apps. So I'll see you in a video very soon.